Students, welcome to my video. Last day we discussed Euclid's division lemma and its problems. Okay. Now let us uh, start a new topic, uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic. It's very important topic and also at least one question. You expect at least one question to in your public examination. Okay. What is the statement or theorem? Every composite number, every composite number can be expressed as a product of primes and this product is unique but the order in which factors exist can change. Okay, I will explain more later. First of all, you have to discuss what is composite number. What is composite number? A composite number have number which have more than two factors. More than two factors that is called composite number take a one number uh, six is one example six is the composite number because you have one two three and six are the factors of six more than two factors here correct so six is the composite number next example four four what are the factors tell me what are the factors one uh, two four okay one two four are the factors of four then what is the uh, opposite of composite number? Opposite of composite number is prime number. Correct? Prime number means only two factors. Okay? Only existing how many factors? Two factors. What are they? Well, for example, 5. 5 is a prime number because 1 and 5 are the factors of 5 and 7. 1 and 7 are the factors of 7. Only two factors existing uh, in prime numbers. Uh, that number and one itself okay one and that number itself the, these are the two factors of prime numbers okay so these are the difference between composite number and prime number okay let us discuss more about the fundamental theorem of arithmetic what is the fundamental theorem composite number can be expressed in the form of product of prime numbers for example, 60 is the composite number, correct? 60 is the composite number and 60 can be divided by 2 because it is a even number and 2 is even number and 2 is a prime number. The first prime number is 2. So, 60 divided by 2 and you will get 30, 30 by 2, 15, 15 by 3, then you will get 5. So, 60 composite number can be expressed in the form of prime numbers 2, 2, 3, 5. That is product of prime numbers means 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Okay. So, or some of the stu uh, students are done by this method 2 into 2 into 5 into 3 or 2 into 3 into 5 into 2. Correct. These all are correct and these all uh, steps are correct. Okay. So, that, uh, that, uh, that means this product is unique. Only unique way we can uh, write a composite number uh, composite number okay but the order in which factors exist can change sometimes the order can be changed but don't take 60 divided by 15 because 15 is the composite number only you take what prime numbers ready 60 divided by 2 or 60 divided by 3 or 60 divided by 5 that is your choice okay so these all ways are correct. Then what is the use of using of fundamental theorem of arithmetic? You have to uh, basically using uh, this fundamental theorem of arithmetic to find HCF and LCM. Very simple concept. Uh, we have to find HCF and LCM by using fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Okay. Let us move uh, problems. Okay. We can understand uh, HCF and LCM through example. Question number one. Using fundamental theorem of arithmetic, FTA, fundamental theorem of arithmetic, calculate HCF and LCM of 12 and 20. HCF and LCM of 12 and 20. First of all, we have to write 12 can be written as 12 divided by 2, 6, 6 divided by 2, 3 and 2 into 2 into 3. Then 20 can be written as 20 divided by 2, 10 by 2. 5. So, 20 is equal to 2 into 2 into 5. This is the first step and uh, uh, this uh, become uh, 2 square. We can write 2 square 2 into 2 powers. Right? 2 into 2, 2 square 
uh, into 3 raised to 1 only 3 1 so 3 raised to 1 and here 2 into 2 2 square 5 raised to 1 okay so 2 square into 3 raised to 1 and 2 square into 5 raised to 1 so first of all we have to find HCF how to find HCF very simply product of smallest power of the common factors smallest power of the common factors what are the uh, common factor here 3 is not a common factor and 5 is not a common factor but 2 is the common factor and 2 square also common factor correct 2 square and here 2 square so 2 square is the common factor so smallest power is 2 square so 2 square is equal to 4 let us take another example here uh, write 2 raised to 3 and 2 raised to 4 so here 2 raised to 3 and 2 raised to 4 which is the common factor 2 raised to 3 so 2 raised to 3 is the SCF uh, we will do more problems later okay then LCM what is LCM product of the greatest power of each prime factor so you take each number first I take 2 2 square here and 2 square here okay which is the greatest power 2 square so I am selecting 2 square correct each number each number each prime factor means 2 square and here 2 square so I am selecting the greatest power is 2 square and another prime number is prime factor is 3 raised to 1 here not prime factor but greatest power of each prime factor each prime factor means including 3 so 3 raised to 1 3 raised to 1 and uh, again next uh, prime number prime factor is 5 raised to 1 so I am selecting here 5 raised to 1 okay here uh, another example 3 raised to 2 and 3 raised to 3 so which is the greatest the greatest power 3 raised to 3 so I am writing here 3 raised to 3 moreover we will do another example okay so 2 square is equal to 4 4 into 3 into 5 is equal to 60 so the LCM is 60 okay so LCF is, LCF is equal to 4 and LCM equal to 60 here we have to move one important result HCF into LCM is equal to product of A into B or AB product of AB AB means the numbers for example in, in this problem the A means 2 12 and B is 20 and HCF is 4 and LCM is 60 so HCF 4 LCM 60 4 into 60 is equal to 240 then product of A and B 12 into 20 is equal to 240 that is equal to the answer both are same so HCF into LCM is equal to product of A and B okay HCF into LCM is equal to product of A and B ready thanks for watching my video please wait for next video thank you